I'm gonna give y'all some easy pointers today on how to put a GM rear end back together. As you can see, I got a GM85. Until it's flat right there at the bottom corner. That's an 85. 85 10 bolt. The main thing you want to do is keep that shim right there. That one. And when you pull it apart, make sure you keep it on the left side and the right side. So when you put it back together, you know which side they go on. Because they go on the side of this. So it can line back up where it's supposed to be at. That side of here. And another corner is if you're changing your pinion and ring gear, if you take your pinion and you take that bearing off, that shim that is between the stock pinion and the bearing, you can take that shim and put it on your new gear set and it will line everything back up to where it needs to be at. The backlash and everything will be perfect. But when you're ready to put the new pinion on and use new bearings, you have to torque this down and check it with an inch pounder. So you put it on here like this, and then when you pull it, it should go between zero and 20. This right here goes a little bit more, cause ain't no grease in it right now, or no oil in it. Gotta check it. No play in it at all. I'm change the seals if you want to. I'm changing mine because I'm putting some new axles in it. Some 30 spline axles. So, yep. Basically, all it is to it. It's not hard. Anybody can do it. Just gotta take some time. And oh, it's easier to do if you have a lift. Cause laying on the ground and beating them new racing back in that rear end, it is a pain laying down here on the ground doing it. Highly suggest do it on a lift. 